Are you looking for a way to give your kitty a better view of the outside? This is a cat window perch from Kylab. So once you finish putting the little poles together, make sure you've got your little bolt hole on the end of these two sides. And you want to feed through all the little hooks on this. Okay, I got them through the loop and the last one to connect is this one I took off. I can just reconnect the Velcro right up. And you can see it's gone around all the edges of the bed. And now we have this middle beam. But I have to also string the, uh, the pole through these little loops here. They do not have a Velcro. So it's really important that you get get it through here. It's going to go around on this side because this is the underside. So you want it aiming down for the, this will be the front on the opposite side of it. So you don't want to connect this up incorrectly. You want to have it set so it can pivot up and down with the front, the top being the underside here because this is the bottom. All right, so basically they're going to be inserted together like this. And here on the end, you can see the bolt hole. So we're going to stick this bolt through this, through the hole in this pole. Bolt through. And then anchor it, bolting into this Allen wrench they provide. And screw this in. Now I have finished anchoring both supports to the bed. A little. It's basically going to be able to pivot up when needed and down. Kind of goes like that. And then these little bolts will fit right down in here. And these little, you can see how tightly this fits so that you can just twist and secure these tightly to the bolts and then tightly to the window. Well now that I've attached the uh, suction cups the last thing I need to put on is this little spacer pad thing right here in this hole on the bottom. This goes in like that just pushes right in and that just provides a little bit of a buffer so the edge doesn't hit the window. Now I ran into a snake when I tried to install this cat bed because the feet, these little suction cups here, extend past the width of the unit and they go all the way over to the other side right about 23 and a half to 24 inches is what you need for clearing the suction feet on these. And unfortunately, the way this is designed you cannot move these feet in whatsoever on this bar. So this is a huge drawback because I had several windows I was planning to try to mount this on in my house and I only found one that would work. Now I've boiled some water in my frying pan. We're gonna to try to get these things soaking for a little bit to help increase the suction of these cups and help them adhere to the window. And just kind of push them into place once you get it exactly where you want it. And we'll let it cool off and dry and see how well it secures to the window. That's a good girl. Can you try it out? Try your bed. There you go. See? It'll hold you. It's your new window bed. How do you like it? Yeah, I think this is going to become her new favorite bed. She loves being by the window. And she loves how soft it is. Overall, this is a nice kitty window bed. Little hammock. But I do have a couple little things I see as a drawback. Uh, it's not able to stay up. So if you push it up it has no catch to hold it but I think if you put like a little small bungee cable maybe between that brace right here 
you might be able to come up with some kind of a way to clip this so it'll stay up, but it doesn't have an automatic latch of any sort to hold it up. The other thing that I noticed, when you push it up, you cannot get blinds around it. This is about mm, two to three inches when you push it. That's about as tight as it's going to go. And because this cannot be put on the panel that doesn't move, because you have to be able to open up the window to slide it. So it has to go on the, the portion that slides, and of course that has less depth. So it's virtually impossible, even when you push it up, you cannot get your blinds over top of this. So the only thing this will really work with would be like some kind of a curtain. A curtain could cover it and go over it if you need to have some privacy as long as you figure out a way to strap this or tighten it so it'll stay up. But that's the only way you can use this bed with any type of window covering. So that's the only drawback really between um, finding a window that has at least 23 inches of clearance and some kind of a, a covering then you could get maybe some privacy if you needed to cover your window. I'm using this in the dining room and it's going to work out pretty good since we're always looking out the window here and my kitties love to sit by the window to see what's out in the yard. So I think they're going to absolutely love this little window perch. It's going to be a favorite for my kitties.